Christmas. Anglo-American focuses on platinum, diamonds, copper, iron ore and coal. It also has a controlling stake in Kumba and significant iron ore assets in Brazil. A lot of worries about its balance sheet. Those have been alleviated in recent days by that big Kumba dividend and the fact that they've paid down so much debt. Market cap here, 306.3 billion rand, price to earnings ratio of 7.1, dividend yield of 2.9%. And uh, let's talk about this one. Of course, we've seen management now at the helm for some time. Mark Kutifani, yeah. Mark Kutifani. And Mark previously coming from the Anglo Gold stable. Mm -hmm. Is he doing a good enough job? I think so for now. Um, he replaced Cynthia Carroll. That's correct. Yeah, I think he's a better capital allocator um, than Cynthia Carroll was. Um, look, m amazing results that came out last week. If you look at the production numbers, up huge. De Beers was great, up I think 38%. Uh, Kumba obviously was a great one. We'll talk about that one a little bit later. They did have a few issues with their coal productions in Queensland. Um, so uh, a Cyclone uh, sort of wiped out a lot of that production. Um, so they weren't able to to get an increase in production out there, but across the board with everything else, increases in production. Um, well, let's look at the share yeah. price graph. This is a fascinating one. I mean, if you consider that at the height of the market, it traded at 500 plus. So when I say the market, I mean back in 2007, 2008, they were doing share buybacks then. That's why everybody uh, has nothing nice to say about Cynthia Carroll anymore. But look where it gets to. It gets down to below 65 rands a share beginning of 2016 people thought it was game over turn off the lights too much debt going down so they basically indicated they were going to sell assets at the bottom of the market because they were concerned mm -hmm. about liquidity well since then it's rallied all the way back to the current level around 200 no, we've seen so share. many examples of this so old mutual comes to mind as well there was also a stage where old mutual was trading at a ridiculously low level with the same concerns about mm -hmm. whether mm -hmm. the company was ultimately going so to survive. So what's the moral of the story? What it, buy when buy others low, are fearful. Buy low, it's a buffer principle. It's a simple, it's a exactly. simple principle. What's buy wrong low, with you? High, yeah. the point is, what's wrong with you? <laughs> because you, it's lovely you can look at this chart now, but at the time when it's at the bottom there, you think you're about to just slip into the netherworld. It, it, you know, over and over again we've seen it. I mean, there are even more examples of that. And, and I go back now to Rowan Williams' favorite mm. stock, uh, Supergroup. Yeah. Remember, that was also going that to implode. Also on the also buy gonna, low, gonna disappear, yeah. sell high. But put up that chart again. What happens if you buy them at 130 Rand in the middle of 2015 and then they, because you think they look cheap and then they proceed to half? Most that's, people that's can't the take risk, that yes. kind of pain. That's the risk. And you got the kind of obviously looking at something like African Bank that just got cheaper and cheaper and went to zero. So. Mm. You can never forget those things. And we have personal experience in African <laughs> Bank, <laughs> yeah. in our stocks portfolio. So, so we <laughs> weren't unscathed in that scenario. Yeah. But, but I, I still go at 65 yeah. Rand. And the same thing when Old Mutual was at 4 Rand 80. You've got to then say, is this company you know, a stalwart? Will it see its yeah. way through this I think you have to cycle? remember these are cyclical businesses. They're hugely cyclical businesses. And you have to understand the cycles that they go through. You know, these aren't high quality buy and hold stocks. These are stocks that you got to have a you got to have a view on, and you got to take a you know five mm. five six year view and, and play it like that. My frustration Although is not with you actually. It's just <laughs> that I should have gotten off the news desk, mortgaged <laughs> my house, away. and put my <laughs> money into these stocks. Well, I mean, uh, interesting though that you say these are not stocks to own forever because in from the period like two thousand and one to two thousand and eight, they became stocks that people were going to hold yeah. forever because the idea was that China was going to be a sustained economic miracle forever and this was yeah. a super cycle. Sassel was another. Sassel Absolutely, was the yeah. favorite, the darling among the uh, investment and remember, yeah. you can't go back in history now with your time machine and buy Anglo-American <laughs> at 65 Rand. You Don't can only underestimate buy them what we are concocting in our <laughs> garages. You can only buy them today and so the question is are they hot today or not? Are they hot today or not, Paul? Hot, yes. I hot. this upside, yeah. Paul. I'm going to gonna pass again. My feeling again is that this has been a very nice little recovery, but uh, I think the future remains still me. Okay, you go with it.